How's it going, folks? We actually got a cool score this week, and we didn't have to wait forever to get it, and we didn't have to pay double or triple for it or anything like that. We didn't have to go to scalpers or nothing. We just had to walk in a cold, cold night last night, um, where it's windy and cold, to the local Target, about a mile or so, maybe, all the way around, round trip or whatever. And um, yeah, I went to Target. They had one in, in the back. And uh, if you use your handy dandy app on your phone, yeah, they, they're popping up around the, the nation. And uh, yeah, man, we had had one over here, right down the street. So I was like, dude, let's go look because we've had problems before, like when I went to South Park Meadows and it said on the app they had the, the Battlefield 2 pack. And I went, I don't know how many times, and this chick or whatever, um, was like no we don't have it. it it's it says we have it but we don't have it it's not here lies all lies because lately i've been showing up with the if it's in stock they got it they have it at my store the one by the house but i don't know how many times i went there to the south park meadows and, and this baby or whatever was just like uh, she's like, no, we don't have it. We don't have it. We don't have it. And I'm like, it says we have it, but we don't have it because it's sometimes this and that. And I'm like, that, that's BS. They totally had it. And they were totally pulling some, some shady bull crap where they didn't want to sell it to me or they're scalping or doing something. Cause that's not unheard of, you know, it's not unheard of. But anyways, without that stupid rant, we got Triclops, man, it was, who was voiced by good old Henry Rollins, man. One of my favorite people on the planet. I don't know him personally, but he's, I don't know. I love Henry Rollins. I love his spoken word. I love Black Flag. I love Rollins' band. And he did the voice for Triclops. And this is the Triclops where you got regular Triclops and then you have the cultist, um, motherboard cultist Triclops, man. So it's really cool. Glad to find it. Oh, man, got stuff falling everywhere. Anyways, big old box. Yeah, here we go. Look at the back of the packaging. Once again, really nice art. Hate to throw it away, but it's going to have to happen. Here's a look at more of the figures in the back. I haven't seen the Savage He-Man yet. There's Fisto. We have him. Andra. We don't have her yet. I want to get her, but I don't have her. She's actually selling out on BBTS, which is crazy because so many people were like, oh, that's, a, you know, just people being stupid, complaining. And then now she's sold out, man. It's nuts. Uh, Triclops, Faker, Poor People Scare Glow, and Regular Stinkor, which is Regular Stinkor, but that would be Regular Scare Glow. Anyways, but there you go. Let's look at the side of the box. Really cool picture of... Um, Good old Triclops right there. That's pretty cool, man. That's nice, dude. Holding some kind of weird... Contemplating the chalice right there. There's a chalice. He's contemplating it. And those artifacts I think they were looking for or something that would... Uh, what was it? Uh, Stinkor had in his hoard. After the demise or the fall of... Um, not the fall, but the... I don't know, whatever what happened with Skeletor and stuff in the cartoon. Anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, open this up and check it out. And we're back, folks. Man, this is, this is a wicked, wicked figure, man. He's huge. He's freaking huge. He's back a little bit. Yeah, but yeah, dude, he's... Man, I like him, man. I like the detail. His visor, obviously, I think it turns. Yeah. It's supposed to, but let's see. Kind of have it. Yeah, there you go. It's kind of hard to twist it and turn it but it turns so yeah that's cool man he's got a brown eye <laughs> and <laughs> another brownish looking eye okay and then ah. yeah it's just a square another weird yeah it's just three different weird shapes okay that's weird okay i don't know which one i like better i don't know maybe this one maybe we'll leave that one That's cool, man. Either way, that's cool. It's interesting. It's weird. It's different. But yeah, it's, again, it's like the cartoon and stuff. But I like his um, outfit. A little update right here with the spikes. That's cool. On his chest plate armor stuff. That's pretty wicked. That's cool, man. Seems a little more darker. than uh, Or a little more tan than uh, He-Man. So that's cool. Once again, you got these... Uh, his legs can go in and out. You pop them in. Just thank God that like fellow viewers would tune in and let me know how to work these joints and stuff inside here in the thighs and stuff or the, in the crotch area because it can be kind of tricky but he's got his double elbows it's cool man everything works like it should torso and all that stuff so that's cool man 
splitsies. That's good. Just got to see what's up. Boots and everything. That's cool, man. Hair. It's rad, dude. Got to soak it all in. That's cool, dude. This is rad. I like him, man. He looks like a stout figure. He looks like a beast of a dude, man. To be honest with you, saw him in the package. I was like, man, he looks looks thick. Here's his cultist gear. Or he'd be the Grand Poobah or whatever or something. Here's uh, more of his little, his little dress. He looks so elegant. <laughs> it's, it's funny. And oh, uh oh, he didn't like that. Sorry, 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 truck ops. But uh, yeah, let's get you stand up again. Here's the cultist head. Where he's got the, when he's like, oh, see, we don't see eye to eye. Or whatever. <laughs> That's cool, man. That's rad. I like that visor a little bit better, man, than this one. That's cool. I wonder if you could pop it out. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to find out, but yeah. That is cool. He's got his backhand and his booty smacking hand, or his high five hand, so that's cool. Talk to the hand. He's got two open hands and two holding hands, so that's cool. Here's his iconic sword. Same one that we get with uh, good old Fisto. So that's rad. That's cool, man. I'll get him in a real quick power pose. And here he is, ready to squad with He-Man. This is a rad figure, dude. I really like him a lot. He's, he's probably one of my new favorites, man. For a while, it was Fisto, Beast Man. Stinkor, I could kind of take or leave. I like him, but for some reason, he's just not... I don't know. He looks he looks awesome. Don't get me wrong. I love Stinkor, but he's just not... He's not doing it for me, you know? But uh, Duncan... I mean, my in arms is rad. I mean, yeah, Spiker is cool. Um... Scareglow is rad, but Scareglow, there's just certain things, I guess, because he's kind of hindered as far as posing and stuff, or getting, like, cr like super crazy poses. But, uh, yeah, I love this Triclops. But then again, I'm a Triclops fan. But, yeah, you can see the difference in the skin tone. He's more of, like, a, like maybe, like, a bluebell vanilla look on, on the He-Man skin tone, like ice cream, maybe. And then you got, like, a yeah, darker kind of, um, kind of, uh, like refried bean tan look or whatever on good old triclops or whatever there maybe i don't know maybe we don't have the same no nah, it's not the same um complexion or whatever but yeah he's cool man i like him a lot we're gonna have to now after this get him in his cultist gear well here he is with his dress it's pretty i like it man i like it it's like a good uh it's got the a and m colors it looks nice on him not too yeah not bad had to zip it up for him in the back. <laughs> he can be like that guy. What's that guy's name? Harry Styles. Totally. Got the Harry Styles thing going. And here he is in his full cultist gear. Hailing the motherboard. Or testifying. Or I'm not sure what he's doing. But yeah. This is really cool, man. I like the armor. It kind of reminds me of like the classics in a way. It's cool, man. Very cool. Very cool piece, man. Kind of like a preacher or something. Like a padre. That's awesome. It's cool, man. Really cool. I like it, man. I like it. Um, will I keep them like this all, a whole bunch? Uh, probably not, because um, uh, I like the old school Triclops look, and um, yeah, I just don't have a. I don't know. I think I'm missing figures for them to do a battle like this with him or whatever. But uh, yeah, it's cool. It's it's funny. It's hilarious. Um, it's a funny part of the cartoon for sure, and um, and it's a weird cult thing, man. Because cults are weird. They are really, really are, man. And Motu kind of has a uh, weird cult status, to be honest with you. It really, really does. Because there's a lot of fans, a lot of new, a lot of old, a lot of, you know, everybody has their opinions. And um, you got you got some guys that are like the Taliban or something. And you got some guys that are kind of just like me, middle of the road or whatever <laughs> about Motu. I shouldn't say that at all because people get freaked out or mad or whatever, <laughs> offended. But anyways, hey, whatever. Um... This figure's awesome, and it's cool, and I'm glad I was able to get him, and I was glad I was didn't have to go through Big Bad Toy Store, or I didn't have to um, get it from some scalper dude in California, or um, you know any of that stuff, or I didn't get beat out by thousands of uh, mad child dudes here in, uh, in Austin, Texas, in my neighborhood. So yeah, it was really cool. It was a score for the. As my brother Brian Starr says, let's go one for the good guys. Awesome. Anyways, let's want to look at Triclops, our exclusive Triclops or whatever. Anyway, anyways, uh, thanks for watching y'all, and uh, have a good one. All right, later.
Man, I forgot to read the goofy uh, back of the box. Let's see. Triclops, he's evil and sees everything. The technological genius with the tri-sided visor served Skeletor for years. Now that the nefarious Lord of Destruction disappeared, however, Triclops discovered an, his new purpose. With magic fading from Eternia, Triclops preaches about the weakness of the flesh and the strength of machines. As leader of a technological cult operating out of Snake Mountain, he demands his followers abandon their weakness and prepare for the digital embrace of the motherboard. <laughs> All hail the motherboard. <laughs>